Okay, we're out in Orchard Park. We got a, uh, we got two skylights we put in with this whole back roof. So everything got stripped. All new flashing. Uh, all new tucked and mortar caulked around the chimney. There's some issues with that chimney up there. We gotta be careful of. But anyways, uh, when the painters came in, there's there was a lot of moisture inside the drywall. Now we had just finished this on late Friday, so it did get a rain on Sunday. We had rains here, Saturday and Sunday. Um, so, but we can't tell if the water that he's seen was all the residual from before. It was damp when he opened it up, and obviously, uh, and there's a, and there is water stains on the ceiling, but those are all old water stains. So I started out in the bottom corners uh, of the skylights. I let the water run for about three minutes on each corner. <clears throat> nothing showing up. The drywall's all cut open on the inside. So nothing's showing up on the inside at all yet. So now I'm working on the right side. I've been here for about, uh, probably about close to about four or five minutes on this right side hitting it. And if I can't get it to go on either the bottom or the right side, then I'll go up to the very top of the skylight and see if we can get it to leak or show. This is a substantial amount of water. This is more than you would normally get in the rain. Plus I'm blasting it against the shingles. So the, if the skylight can defend this, it's, you know, it's pretty safe. The only thing that is a problem, that can be a problem, is ice back up. And this insulation should probably be re replaced, which he said he's going to do inside these cavities. So I'm ready to switch it over to the right side. And then I'll go down and, before I go to the top, I'll go down and feel if there's any moisture up on the insulation or the drywall. I had to uh, run to Lowe's and get a new nozzle because the old nozzle was frozen, so got a little bit of a delay. I had to clean these gutters out, so. But uh, they just had some stuff in the downspout. But you can see that this was a, we went right from that wall all the way across to there. Um, we tucked some aluminum up in that corner over there too, because there's some, there was a varmint trying to get in there, so I think she said she had a guy that was uh, wanting to block off these vents. And then we got these power vents up here. I gotta see how often those things turn on and off. I didn't even notice those. So, the natural airflow is a better airflow if you can get it. So, they do have these skylights uh, readily available, so I'll give her the option to change these out if, uh, if she so desires. But if we can't get it to leak with this, you know, who's to say? I mean, the skylight is 20 some years old. A kid, uh, they can. Uh, become a problem in two, three, five years, and I'm sure she wouldn't want that, so. Switch over to this side here. And you can see I'm, I'm blasting it right underneath the flashing point there, so if it ain't getting in there, it's not gonna, right there's the most vulnerable point, and of course the, the skylight seal itself, where the glass meets the metal, those are the, the two vulnerable spots. Usually everything out by the shingles, except for ice back up, is pretty safe. Ice backup is a hard thing to prevent because if this ice dam is built up, say, down here a foot or so high, this actually turns into like a big pond up here and it finds its way in. And it might be what she's been seeing all these years. Uh, is, you know, problems with ice, you know, with the old, old roofing and ice shield. The ice shields weren't on right, by the way. So we got ice shield going all the way from this gutter on up to the skylights. We're three foot each side of the skylights and then three foot above the skylights. So, it's got a real good barrier of ice shield on it. That's why a lot of times when water does get in at these shingles, you won't see it on the inside. It'll ride the ice shields and the underlayment right down, you know, between the shingles, and you'll never even see it on the inside. A lot, of, Unless, again, it's a nice backup. Then it'll crawl right in on this edge where these screws are, and it just creeps in there, and it's just like submerging the whole thing underwater, which is close to what we're doing right now. Put this on pause, let this sit a little while, so you don't have to watch me water the skylight. It ain't gonna grow. Okay, let's see what we got on the inside here. This, of course, obviously is old.
Nothing here is dry. Normally you'd see it right break down this paper here. This is all dry. 